Hello again everyone. In this given example, we will be asked to solve this cubic equation by using a factoring method. And eventually we're going to check our answer as well. So before we solve this given cubic equation, uh, we have x power 3 minus 1. And as you can see that 1 could be written as 1 power 3, which is same as 1. So now we will be using this formula. So we will be using this factoring formula over here when the difference of two cubes. So in this our given example, x would be treated as an a and one is going to be treated like a b. So then what is going to happen then? We can write this thing as x minus 1 times this could be written as x square and then this is going to be 1 time x is going to be x 1x plus and this is going to be 1 squared equal to 0 or we can simplify a little bit x minus 1 could be written as x square plus x and 1 squared is same as 1 equal to 0. Now we can split these two factors up and set them equal to 0. So I can write x minus 1 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be x squared plus x plus 1 equal to 0. And in this one over here x minus 1 equal to 0 means x equal to 1 is one of our solutions and in this equation we will be using a quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation so here is our quadratic formula that we will be using and over here in this our case the coefficients a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to 1 as well let's go ahead and plug it in so x is going to be a negative and b is 1 plus minus b squared which is 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 1 everything is divisible by 2 times 1 let's go ahead and simplify it out so x equal to negative 1 plus minus that's going to give you 1 minus 4 divided by 2 which turns out to be negative 1 plus minus square root of 3 divided by 2. Now one more thing I want to make sure just keep in your mind whenever you have a negative sign inside this square root then you have to be very careful and now this is going to give us an imaginary number i and i always equal to square root of negative 1. So we can write this thing as negative 1 plus minus i times square root of 3. Everything is divisible by 2. Thus our solution set is going to be what? So one of our solution is x equal to 1. Just write it down and then we are going to split this thing up. So this is going to be what along with positive and negative. So one of the solution is going to be a negative 1 plus i square root of 3 divided by 2. And the third solution is negative 1 minus i square root of 3 divided by 2 and just keep in your mind that the this solution set is a complex solution because of this imaginary number i and if you are looking for just the real solution the real solution is going to be just this part which is one and that's pretty much it and finally we're going to check our answer so the very first thing I want you to do is I want you to add these all solutions right up here. So I'm going to write down 1 plus 
and then I want you to write down this whatever this thing negative 1 over 2 uh, plus i square root of 3 divided by 2 and then plus the third solution is negative 1 over 2 minus i square root of 3 divided by 2 and ask yourself is it equal to minus b over a now you might be wondering what is a and what is b in our this given cube equation uh, our a is 1 b is 0 c is 0 and d is negative 1 so minus b over a is going to be simply negative and then b is 0 over 1 so that's going to give you minus b over a turns out to be 0 so that means the right hand side is simply 0 we're going to see the left hand side is going to yield 0 as well let's see so let's open up these parentheses so that's going to be 1 minus 1 over 2 plus i times square root of 3 divided by 2 minus 1 over 2 minus i square root of 3 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and look at these two terms. They cancel each other out because they have a unlike signs. So what happens right now over here negative 1 over 2 and negative 1 over 2 makes 1 with a negative sign so we got 1 minus 1 is it equal to 0 so 0 turns out to be 0 and for sure this is yes they are equal so we check our answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos